Maxillomandibular advancement, or MMA, is a very efficient method to cure sleep apnea for many patients. This video explains the surgery and presents a case example with the patient's own testimony. Obstructive sleep apnea affects 20% of Americans and contributes to heart attacks, high blood pressure, stroke, diabetes, and sudden death. Symptoms include snoring, restlessness, fatigue, trouble concentrating, and depression. It occurs when the tongue drops to the back of the throat during sleep. This blockage increases negative inspiratory pressure in the lungs, causing the heart to work harder. It causes lower oxygen levels in the blood. During sleep, partial arousal occurs at a subconscious level to overcome the blockage. CPAP, or continuous positive airway pressure, overcomes the obstructions, but not all patients are willing or able to wear the mask. Although there are several surgeries to help with sleep apnea, only maxillary mandibular advancement makes room for the tongue and increases the airway volume to cure sleep apnea. It gives the patients a real chance at a better life. The surgery is performed by making incisions inside the mouth, the bones are cut, and the face is moved forward. It is then held in position with bone plates and screws. The profile change is a show of what is going on at the bone level. This also reflects what is going on at a soft tissue level for the patient. Once the advancement is complete, the patient generally is able to feel the openness of the airway uh, very soon after surgery. This effect then can help with the patient's breathing, establishing the ideal airway. Kurt is a patient who has trouble with sleep apnea. He's a very active, handsome man, and it's not obvious that he has a level of facial deficiency occurring. Um, however, on x-rays, it can be seen that indeed his lower jaw and his mid face are actually deficient, and his chin is back, and the length between his chin and his neck is reduced in size. A CT scan shows that actually the airway volume is reduced in the back of his throat. In fact, you can see there is no dark space in his mouth because there is no room for his tongue, and the tongue is pushed up against the roof of his mouth. In predicting the surgery, this shows how the mandible can be advanced and the neck can be lengthened, as seen from the chin-neck length improvement. After the surgery is completed, the screws and plates are in position and the airway can already be seen as open. There is great improvement in the length from the neck to the chin and therefore more room for the tongue. And the prediction overlays with the actual operative re results shows that the prediction was very close to the final result in advancing the lower jaw and the mid face in order to open the airway. In the post-operative view, it can be seen that Kurt has a stronger chin position. The length from his chin to his neck is greatly improved, and the position of his mid-face is supported. He still uh, remains a very handsome man. Uh, he does not have to hold his head back in order to open his airway. The jawline is certainly more defined. Even from the frontal view, it can be seen the shadow is increased under the jaw and the chin proportions are improved. The upper lip has more support and is less sallow around the nose, again showing the advancement of the maxilla along with the mandible to make room. He still has an excellent smile line and the persistent gap between his front teeth now has room to be closed orthodontically and with some final dental restorations. Although Kurt now looks great on the outside, the real improvement has come on the inside. His airway volume has increased 50% and there is now room for his tongue. He'll give his testimony of how he feels after his surgery. All right, so I want to start by saying very, very glad that I had this done. Um, but to whoever's watching this next year in great hands, um, I have not yet learned completely how to talk with this new mouth of mine, but it's getting better. Um, a uh, couple, couple of things I've been asked to talk about. The first is why did I have this done? Uh, there are a couple of reasons really. One was uh, very poor quality sleep uh, and I was found to have 
uh, pretty low oxygen level when I was sleeping at night, and this was confirmed with a sleep study. Uh, that has dramatically improved. Uh, the other is uh, the sense, despite having had two prior uh, oral surgeries by other surgeons, my teeth were still just not quite coming together the way that it felt natural. And uh, that too, uh, although there's still some orthodontic work to be done, I, I can tell already that things are much more uh, the way they need to be. So in short, um, uh, really been a very good experience.